Hey guys, Ramble and Bob here today, and I'm going to teach you how to put solar panels into series. It's a pretty simple thing, but if you don't know, it's pretty tough. So, these are the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt uh, monocrystalline panels. They're 100 watts apiece. Now, what I'm going to do is, because the voltage is not high enough to run into my system, I'm going to kind of pimp them up a little bit. I'm going to kind of put a little bit more oomph into them. So we're going to make it instead of, a, a, what is it, 24? Or a, I think it's a 20, 21 watt panel. We're going to make it a 42 watt big panel. Okay? So the easy way is what I have set up here is I have all the tools that you're going to need to do this. This is a Bouge RV uh, clamper. So what that does is it puts, uh, oh boy, where are they? Did I set them on the ground? I sure did. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh. I forgot to put them on the table. Okay, so it puts these little guys. These little guys. So it puts the wire on there, and I put one wire for each little part here. That way I get everything lined up. See how everything's lined up here? Okay, so this is a Bouge RV crimper, and then you have the wire stripper. This is a very cheap one from Harbor Freight. I recommend getting a better one, but somebody stole mine, so I have to replace it. Boy, job sites. That's what it is. And then these are called nippers. These are so you can nip these wires so you can start over and then you have basically your mc4s and your mc4s so let me put this down and we're gonna get to the getting it's pretty simple all right so first things first you take this now this is very important that you do this where the panels are in the shade or in the dark cover them with anything you can put them up against the wall Put cardboard over them. You don't want them um, making voltage while you're cut, obviously. Then when you cut, don't make the mistake of cutting both wires at the same time. Do yourself a favor. Split these wires down the middle. This is a very big safety tip. I don't want to lose any scribers. We just, we just got you. All right. So split these guys apart, okay? And you want to, if I can come over this way, all right, my shop's still getting built, so I'm still a little bit messy. See that? That's the positive. Nip. Done. Now, the reason that's safer that way is because when you cut one side at a time, you're not completing the circuit. And now you cut the negative. Now you have two that are completely separate where you don't have to worry about them touching. Let's do that to the other side. Pretty soon you guys will be doing this like nothing. Because I got faith in you. All right. So same thing. You're going to take your nippers. Oh, we're making a mess over here. You're going to take your nippers and you're going to clip only or nip only one at a time. That means you didn't complete the circuit. If you complete the circuit, that would be bad. So now you take the negative there that way just in case just in case now we know there's no energy going in there but just in case as a backup precaution if you were to cut them like this okay if you cut these wires together like this do you see how when they bite into that you would be completing the circuit if you complete the circuit like that you will get a shock hopefully a small one but let's let's not do that let's focus on something else so you're going to have these things you can either keep them or throw them away. I throw them away. You can re-splice them and use them for something else. I don't like SEA. I'm not a fan of them. So, put those to the side. Now we know that we have to put this one on the first positive. So, we get our wire strippers here. You put it in the correct gauge. Now, these are always tough to know because, well, you never really know with Harbor Freight. So, what I do is... Uh, you know, normally you go about a quarter inch. I go very, very big, and I'll show you the reason why in a minute. Then you make a spin. That clips the wire all the way in a circle, so when you strip it, see, you can strip it good. Okay? Now, the reason that I do that is because these sometimes are not as thick as the MC4 allow them to be, as far as what they should be. So, to combat that, what I do is I take off way too much, I fold it in half, right, then I twist it. Now, what did that do? That doubled the gauge of the wire. See that? So then you take your little nipper, you pop it in your 
my Bouge RV clamper. That's a good clamper, guys. You pop that in there and you give it the old what have you. Now, see? Done. Then you take a cap. Then you take a water seal. And then you take the MC4. Now these are confusing because this is a male looking thing with a female. It's weird. Isn't that life? All right, so this goes in there. And then you go like that. Now, to tighten that, you could do that with your hand, but Bush RV sells these things. So you put that little thing in there like that. And you put the other one like that, see? And I click them till I hear one click. Done. There you go. Tight enough. Now this cable is complete. That's pretty fast, huh? Now, we're going to do it again. And you have to do this a bunch of times. So, nip off more than you need. You remember the reason? That's right. To give more, yeah, to give more wire so it'll hold in there better. Now, if you had the correct gauge for these exact uh, MC4s, you wouldn't have to do that. But I like to just be a little bit more secure. So, you have that big chunk. If you have it like this, that means you need new wire clippers. I know I do. All right, so you clean that up a little bit. See how that looks better? Okay. You fold the wire in half, like that, and then I twist it. And now you have a thicker gauge wire that holds a little bit, kind of like an anchor. So you grab your Bouge RVs, all right, and you poke it right in there like that. Hopefully you can see that. And I like to put it in here like this first. The reason for that is it doesn't pop around. See that? And now you can worry about getting all the little threads in there. So make sure you're all threads all the way down to the insulation. And you give it the what have you. All right. Then you grab a cap. The water seal. The MC4. Now this is a male one and a female one. Don't ask. It's very strange. <laughs> you want to click it. You hear the click that it made? Put the water seal in here. Twist this bad boy like this. Hopefully you can see this okay. You remember you get your little blue tool things here? These are your little wrenches. Okay. You put that on there like that. One click. Now you're done. See how fast this goes? All right. So now we're going to put all the tools over here. We don't need the nippers anymore. We're done with that. These are fun to play with, though. You can do your nails if you have to. All right. So... Now we have the positive on this one. We're going to repeat the same pattern because, as you remember, the positive on this one was the pointy one, which is the female. I'm sorry, the male. See, that's very confusing. It's a male outside and a female inside. Very confusing. So, you put it in there like that. You give it a little twist. You pop that out. Get those threads out. Now, you guys remember what I did? Twist them, bend them, twist again. Makes it fat. Take your little bouge RVs, like that. Put the wire in there like that again, right to the insulation, and give it to what have you. All right. Cap, water seal. Make sure you put that on the right way, too. It's got to go on with the rubber part forward. Otherwise, it doesn't do much of good. And then you put your female and male. Don't ask. Now, that's a good thing. See how I can't get that in there? So, sometimes the wire is so cheap and bendy that there's a trick to this. Uh, let me give me one second here. Let me get a tool, and I'll show you what I do. All right, I take a small screwdriver like this. Now, when you can't get it to click, because see how flimsy the wire is? That's good that this one did that. That way you can learn from this. You want to put your screwdriver right here on the point. See that? And then once it's in there, you hear the click? So you don't want to push the wire. You want to push the actual clip. Now it's in there good. Then you take your water seal. 
and then you take your cap. All right, we can almost make it into a song. Then you take your little crazy wrench tool things here, put one like that, and one like that. One click, right? Boy, you guys are getting good at this. You're remembering everything. All right, now the positive's done. That's how fast it is. See, these wires are just a little bit small for these big old clamps. But because you put them tight enough, they still water seal. And because you fold it over that, uh, the wires in there, you make the wires big enough to hold this power. I don't know if they make smaller gauge ones, but these are the ones I buy. I love them. So, and these aren't very strong solar panels anyway. So now we have the negative. It's the last one. Remember? About an inch or so you can go a little bit more if you want clip it real good pinch it I spin it what that does is it cuts the wire all the way around in a circle see that and then I didn't lose any hey, I don't see any in there every once in a while you lose one you don't, you want to aim at losing none though that's the whole key so now we have the tools again here so you take your wire you spin it you bend it, you spin it again on top of itself, and you make that little fat one. Then you take your fancy bouge RV thing, put it right in the middle, or whatever size gauge you have, pinch it in there. Don't click it too much, though. Put the little wire in there, and then what? You give it to what have you. There you go. See? Now it's on there. And always check them by, uh, by wiggling them. Make sure that they're nice and tight. You don't want them to fall off, do you? Put the cap on, put the water seal on. If these ever come apart, they go together very simple. See that? You have your teeth one and the rubber side. And you just put it right in there like that. So that way you have that bad boy like that. Now let's see if this wire is going to cooperate or if it's going to get all bendy. Inside there, click it. Oh, that one worked. So sometimes that wire is funny, you know, it just doesn't want to doesn't have enough oomph. Usually I recommend much bigger uh, gauge cable, but in this situation, to change the, the cable, you'd have to re-solder them onto the, onto the main adapter up there. I didn't want to do all that. I was kind of lazy. So you take your crazy little things, your little wrenches here, you put one on the cap, you put one on the other part, give it a twist to what? One click. There you go. Now you are done. You just completed step one of learning how to series solar panels together. So you're going to take your positive from one and leave it to the side. You're going to take the negative from one and put it to the positive of the other. Hopefully you can see that okay. I'm filming on a very small GoPro, so I hope you can see that. I don't really have a place to, to hang that so you can see it. That might work. I don't know. Let's try it. All right. So see how it makes like a connection? It's like they're holding hands. And then this negative is over here. So now you have these two wires. See that? One positive, one negative. Those two are holding hands. So now you hook this to your power station and you're done. That's how to series panels together and re-clip them. That was a pretty quick video, right? You guys did a fantastic job. I'm proud of you. So, on the next step, we're going to see if we can build a 100 million watt solar panel. I'm just kidding. All right, guys, I hope this really helped you. I'm trying to make videos that are very, very basic because when I was first learning, um, the basic videos were kind of hard to find. Everybody was so advanced, I, I felt left behind. So, I wanted to have something that you can kind of learn at your own pace. So, once again, you need your crimper. Nippers, don't ever do positive and negative together. Bad idea. Wire splitters. A screwdriver in case that didn't want to cooperate. Hopefully you don't need that. And then these little bad boys here. These are your wrenches. These come with the Bouge RV kit. I'll link it down below. It's a pretty good kit. And now you're done. Thanks for paying attention, guys. I'll see you on the next Rambling Bob video. Travel safe. Bye.